It is an educational video of class 10 by Patanjali Rishikul Prayagraj. Good morning students. As we have completed our fourth chapter that is agriculture. So today we will recap this chapter through a short video. So let us begin the chapter with the introduction of agriculture. Two third of population in India is involved in agriculture. That is why this, what the chapter is very much important. Agriculture is not only done to produce food grains. It is also produced raw material for various industries. Types of farming. You know, there are three types of farming. Number one, it is known as primitive subsistence farming. Primitive is the old, old type of farming. The first point of it is agriculture is practiced on small land. Primitive tools like hoe, dough, and digging sticks are used. So the third point is depend on monsoon, natural fertility, and other environmental conditions. So the fourth point is farmers clear a small part of land. It is burned and then land is cultivated. When fertility of land decreases, farmers shift to new land. This type of agriculture is known as slash and burn. Now, fifth point is known as old lands replenish the fertility naturally. Sixth point, it, farming is done for self-consumption. And the last point is, in different states, it is known by different names like Northeastern state, it is known as Juming, and Bastar district of Chhattisgarh, it is known as Deepa. Second type of farming is known as intensive subsistence farming. Point number one, it is practiced in areas of high population. Second point, labor intensive farming. Third, fertilizer, pesticides, irrigation are used to increase production. And the third, Farming is known as commercial farming. Farming is done in large area. Its main purpose is to sell the product and earn greater profits. HYV seeds are used to increase production. Third point, chemicals like fertilizers, insecticides, pesticides are used. And the fourth point, irrigation facilities available here. For example, rice cultivation in Punjab and Haryana, it is done through this fourth point. Now, plantation agriculture. It is uh, a single uh, crop which is grown in a large area. And uh, the best example of this plantation agriculture is sugar cane for sugar industry. And the second example is rubber, banana, coffee, tea. These are the example of plantation agriculture. Now, how when to do this farming? It means where, which are the seasons to do the farming? There are certain seasons also. So that there are three types of season. The first one is known as Rabi. Crops are sown in winter from October to December. Harvested in summer from April to June. And the third, the example is wheat, barley, peas, gram, mustard. Important states are like Punjab, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Uttar Pradesh. Second type of season is Kharif. First, crops are sown with the start of monsoon like May and July, May to July, harvested in September to October. Crops like paddy, maize, jowar, bajra, moong, cotton, jute are the examples. The important states are West Bengal, Assam, Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar. And the last one is Zed. Between Rabi and Kharif season, there is short summer season. It is called Z season. Watermelon, musk melon, cucumber are the examples. I hope this much concept must be clear to you all, all of you. So let us begin with the major crops. Let us start that which are the major crops of India. Now let us see the major which are the major crops and that is the rice. India is the second largest producer of rice and the first larger producer is China. Kharif, it is a Kharif crop and the temperature is 
25 degree Celsius. It means above 25 degree Celsius. It require high humidity, rainfall above 100 centimeter. So it even and the states from where where the seed where this rice grows that is Punjab, Haryana, Western UP parts of Rajasthan. So then the second is wheat. It is a rabi crop. Require cool growing season and bright sunlight during harvesting. Rainfall which is required that is 50 to 75 percent. It is the second most important cereal which grows. And the location which is uh, which uh, which grows uh, wheat that is northwest Ganga Satlash plains, black soil of Deccan plateau, and the states like Punjab, Haryana, UP, Bihar, and Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan other states producing wheat now the third is millets three important millets are grown in india that is jowar bajra and ragi these millets are also known as coarse grains because it has the nutritional value let us see jowar it grown in moist areas that's why it uh, it uh, it has potassium phosphorus calcium states like Maharashtra, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh get Bajra grows in it is grows in sandy soil and black soil example like Rajasthan, Maharashtra, UP, Rajasthan, Ariana, Ragi it grows in dry region red and black soil sandy soil and black soil it contains iron calcium roughage etc It, so, uh, in, uh, so roughage is found in ragi in an ample amount. The states which is found uh, where ragi grows that is Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Himachal Pradesh, etc. Now the fourth is maize. Used as food as well as fodder also. So it is also used for fodder. It grows in Kharif crop. So temperature which is which used to grow it like 21 to 27 degrees Celsius. It grows in Bihar, it grows in Ravi season also. It grows well in odd alluvian soil to increase production, HYV seeds, fertilizers, proper irrigation. And the states where maize grow, that is Karnataka, Bihar, UP, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, MP, these are the places. Now the fifth number is come, that is pulses, which is also known as dal. India is larger producer as well as consumer of pulses. So has a ample amount of protein it provides protein also like moon arhar urad masoor they are the pulses so leaving arhar all other plants are leguminous plants it means they uh, improve the soil fertility by fixing nitrogen from air it is used to grow in rotation with other crops to increase the fertility of soil the states which grows pulses like MP, UP, Rajasthan, Maharashtra, Karnataka, they grow pulses. Now, let us see more, such uh, more uh, important crops that is sugar cane. Grow, it grows in hot and humid climate. The temperature which is required there 21 to 27 degrees Celsius. And the rainfall which is required that is 75 to 100 centimeter. It takes almost a year to harvest. India is the second largest producer of sugar cane and the number one is brazil states that produce sugar cane is maharashtra karnataka tamil nadu andhra pradesh telangana punjab and haryana and then bihar and up now oil seeds from which we ex the seeds from which we extract oil that is groundnut mustard coconut dill soya bean castor seeds sunflower seeds it is mostly used in cooking. Groundnut is a kharif crop, largest producer in Gujarat. It means largest. In, and then linseed and mustard, it is a uh, rabi crop. Oil seeds are used to make soap, cosmetic industry, etc. Now, tea. It is introduced by Britishers, grows in tropical and subtropical climate. Soil should be fertile and humus. Labor intensive farming. It requires labor intensive farming. States like Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Assam, Darjeeling. So, India is the second largest producer of tea and it is also having a plantation crop. Now, let us see about the coffee introduced by Yemen in India. States like Karnataka, it produced coffee. 
so horticulture let us see uh, horticulture let us see what is horticulture horticulture like fruits it includes fruits vegetable and nuts fruits mangoes it grows in maharashtra and andhra pradesh like this oranges and all vegetables may like vegetables like uh, it uh, india produces 13% of the world's vegetables cauliflower onion cabbage tomato brinjal potato i hope you all have understood about the major food crops of india as well as other than the major food crops of india like sugar cane uh, pulses and all now let us see about non food crops of india so rubber it grows in equatorial region it requires moist and humid climate and rainfall 200 more than 200 degree celsius temperature 20 above 25 degree celsius important in it is an important industrial raw material like tire footwear rubber band eraser etc are the examples the states which grow rubber that is kerala tamil nadu karnataka but the and very and the second uh, is fiber crop four type of fiber crops are cotton jute of it is obtained by growing in soil and silk it is obtained from silkworm which is known as sericulture because it is not produced from soil it is obtained from the silkworm now cotton it grows in black soil then high temperature it requires high rainfall as well as uh, uh, it uh, as well it uh, so high high temperature and high uh, rainfall it requires and it grows in khar uh, it is a kharif crop major raw material for cotton textile industry states which grow cotton that is maharashtra gujarat mp karnataka and andhra pradesh telangana punjab haryana uttar pradesh the fourth this the, uh, the next one is jute which is also known as golden fiber well drained fertile soil so it is a well drained fertile soil which requires high temperature while growing then product which is uh, made by jute that is bags rope carpet etc jute products are costly when compared to synthetic fiber so demand of jute products is in decreasing the states which grow jute like west bengal are most important than bihar assam orissa meghalaya i hope children you have understood about the non food crops now let us see the technological and institutional reform regarding to agriculture technological and institutional reforms now in agriculture field what are the reforms let us see point number 1 like institutional reforms like collectivization like uh, just to abolish uh, zamindari system land reforms to distribute land equ equally then but was not implemented properly then second point comes like in 1960s and 1970s green revolution crop production increased white revolution dairy production like especially milk production increased then third is kisan credit card it means personal accident insur insurance scheme were introduced and fourth one is gramin banks were opened to provide loan facilities to farmers at lower interest rate and fifth point is minimum support price was announced and the last point is government established indian council of research and development icar they have established so research and development in the field of agriculture so these are the institutional reforms in now the last topic is known as the impact of globalization of on agriculture so in 1990s when the globalization hit farmers had to face new challenges as government reduced import duty it means whatever the uh, the things whatever the uh, goods are coming from the uh, from other country it is very in less uh, amount 
so indian farmers had to face tough competition very less profit so we see indian farmers are leaving agriculture and shifting to other this uh, other occupation i hope this session and this video must be informative for you all i hope the most of the um, uh, concept must be clear to you all thank you children